In a significant development, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense announced on October 31, 2024, that Swedish donated PBV-302 tracked armored personnel carriers, APCs, have officially entered service with the Ukrainian armed forces. This addition marks an essential step forward in strengthening Ukraine's armored transport and combat capabilities, with Ukrainian troops already undergoing training on these newly integrated vehicles. The deployment follows an earlier September 2024 commitment by Sweden, which confirmed the transfer of 200 PBV-302 armored tracked personnel carriers to Ukraine as part of its extensive military aid package. The PBV-302 is a Swedish-designed tracked APC renowned for its maneuverability over rough terrain, enabling Ukraine's infantry to navigate challenging battlefield conditions more effectively. Armed with a 20mm Hispano Suiza Type 804 cannon, the PBV-302 accommodates a crew of three and has space for up to eight infantry soldiers. The vehicle's design blends essential protection with combat support, making it well-suited for delivering troops to active zones while providing a layer of defense against threats. Recent training efforts have focused on ensuring Ukrainian soldiers gain the operational and maintenance skills required to deploy these vehicles effectively on the front lines, ensuring a smooth integration into Ukraine's active forces. Sweden's military support to Ukraine has been extensive and diverse, addressing both offensive and defensive needs. In addition to the PBV-302, Sweden provided 50 units of the Combat Vehicle 90, CV-90, in September 2024. The CV-90, an advanced tracked infantry fighting vehicle, offers robust armor and is equipped with a 40mm autocannon, suited for both transport and frontline combat operations. Its performance has been highly effective in Ukrainian operations, and to ensure sustained readiness, Sweden has also pledged to procure additional 40mm ammunition specifically tailored for these vehicles. This strategic approach highlights Sweden's commitment not only to provide equipment, but also to ensure its ongoing operational effectiveness. Sweden Support Package 16, which included the substantial addition of over 200 PBV-302s, has effectively bolstered Ukraine's armored personnel carrier fleet, expanding the army's capacity to transport troops under protected conditions. The forthcoming Support Package 17 will further enhance these capabilities with specialized camouflage equipment designed for both the PBV-302 and CV-90 vehicles. This camouflage technology will improve concealment, providing Ukrainian units with tactical advantages in diverse operational settings and allowing for covert maneuvers that increase survivability on the battlefield. Since the onset of hostilities in February 2022, Sweden has been a steadfast partner in supporting Ukraine's defense, with its total military aid nearing 2 billion euros. This aid extends beyond APCs and fighting vehicles. It includes high-impact assets like the Stridsvagn 122 main battle tanks, RBS-70 air defense systems, Archer 155mm self-propelled howitzers, and Robot-17 anti-ship missiles. Each aid package has been carefully crafted to meet Ukraine's evolving operational needs, contributing to a multi-dimensional approach that enhances Ukraine's mobility, firepower, and strategic posture. Sweden's comprehensive support emphasizes a strong partnership, aligning with NATO-aligned nations in a shared mission to uphold Ukraine's sovereignty and security. By equipping Ukrainian forces with armored transport vehicles, specialized camouflage technology, and continuous ammunition supplies, Sweden has fortified Ukraine's defensive resilience. This ongoing assistance strengthens not only Ukraine's immediate military capabilities, but also its long-term defense infrastructure reflecting Sweden's dedication to regional security and international stability. As Ukraine integrates the Swedish-donated PBV-302s and CV-90S into active duty, along with supplementary camouflage and ammunition resources, Sweden's contributions are expected to play an increasingly pivotal role in Ukraine's defense efforts, reinforcing both countries' commitments to preserving security and sovereignty in the face of adversity.